Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Starbase. And today, in Starbase, we are going to start with the uh, fighter uh, ship that I've mentioned in the previous episode. And um, yeah, so I'm just here with the Sunbird, just trying to uh, get myself orientated and all whatnot. It's been a few days since I've logged into the game and whatnot. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I told you guys this, uh, one of my posts, maybe on YouTube, that I tried to take some days off in between episodes um even between parts of an episode so that i don't burn myself out and uh, continue designing a couple of things so anyways um <clears throat> yeah so let me see if i cannot quickly let us jump back into the designer area and um yeah let's quickly see i want to show you guys that the idea i have uh is it this one yeah i think it's this one i don't know if you guys can see um that this is the ship I was talking about. It is Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Um, and yeah, I kind of want to make a ship that looks like this and with shields on the side. Well, not really shields, it's more like plates. We're going to use the largest plates and whatnot um, attached to the body and um, trying to, you know, shield us from any incoming fire and whatnot, except for above and below, in front and beyond. Uh, behind <laughs> um well we'll see how this will turn out i feel like this is a very good idea like a good concept for a ship um because in the game of starbase the biggest let's see if i can find like a large i think up here yeah something like this okay i think this is the largest largest plate which you can get and if i could just take it out from here uh like so and make it flat, yeah. Okay, so as we can see, this is the largest plate, uh, 432 by 432. Um, it is made out of Bastion, but if we quickly go to the... Where is materials? And we say, not Bastion, but Tridonium. The armor value is 3.7. It is much um, heavier. And let's just go back to here and like this and like this. And as we can see, now it's made out of Tridonium. But it weighs, look at the mass, it's much, much heavier right now. One, two, three. So 33 tons. Is it 33 tons, this thing? This one plate is 33 tons, holy crap. And this thing is one, two, three, 22 tons. So it's 11,000 kilograms heavier than um, a Bastium. Let me just say Bastium, yeah, Bastium, Bastium plates. And this is Charodium, yeah. Okay, just want to make sure about that. Um, but this is now, the armor value of this is uh, like much, much higher. And um, I think if we could just hover over, we could see Chod, uh, Char Charodium, 3.7. Okay. Bashem, 0.7. So Bashem is not really good to use armor-wise or whatnot. It is the default of all the ships, so just keep that in mind. Um... If you're going to design a fighter ship or something, just try to make a, a use of um, Chardonium as much as possible. And another thing why I've chosen the largest plate is because the bigger the plates, the more hit points. You know, just like this. This has more hit points than this one, for instance. Okay, this is a 96 by 144. So it will have a lot less hit points than this this guy so you're trying to make your ships if you're going to make um any sort of fighter ship or anything try to use the biggest plates of uh, charodium in them and uh always try to protect the core elements the core of your ship in other words like this you know this will be the core of the ship which is the um uh generators and the ge generator fuels and especially the fuel rods because if they these parts pop then um they will uh it will be a gigantic explosion. If somebody attacks this ship right now and tears through the back end of here and somehow manages to hit those fuel rods, this whole back end will explode and this ship will be dead in the water. There will be no power generation, nothing. So if I were to make this combat ready, I would use much bigger plates here at the back, okay? And make it a charodium uh, material out of those plates. So just keep that in mind if you guys are going to design something like that. 
But uh, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump away. And what I'm going to do first is going to use the pilot seat with a beam underneath it. Um, and have... Wait, let me see if I can figure this out. No. Uh, I don't know. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the frame. We, as always, I'm going to see how, what we can do. Um, the frame is just going to be single pilot seat. It's going to be much smaller than this, I think. Um, much smaller ship than this one. And it's going to have its shields on the both sides. Um, and uh, yeah. And I think uh, weapons wise, before we cut away uh weapons wise i was thinking of maybe if we're gonna stick with the whole you know star wars scene because uh somebody did mention i did ask people like what ships do you guys want to see and somebody did mention like star wars one of the or two of the ships and the problem in starbase is you cannot really have very curvy ships you can like have i call it the cereal box curves you know like you can only do it like very 90 degree corner ish vibes um the the closest you'll get to um like curves is basically like these curved plates these guys that will be the closest you'll ever get of having some sort of smooth surface um so yeah we know we cannot i cannot really do that but that gave me the idea for the darth vader tie fighter of star wars so i was thinking since we're going star wars themes we might as well go ahead and use um Laser cannons, you know, um, they don't have ammunition like um, auto cannons, but they use power or electricity, you know. And I was thinking uh, we can actually have like I don't know four of these, two of these, I think four, you know, uh, something like that, that, and like that, you know. Um, obviously the mirrored versions, but you know something like this, uh, pilot seat, all that kind of jazz. So, uh, yeah, I think that is the idea of this uh, fighter ship we're going to do. Um, in terms of, like, cockpit-wise, uh, windows, um, the front part is not going to be really that ball part, the, the pilot seat area, the cockpit area. What is this? I uh, don't know what that is. Um, but what we can do is there was a, a, a window I saw, which is... I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's sort of... Isn't this one? It's like a canopy. Dome? Yeah, almost something like this. I feel like this should be fine. Or... I don't know, that doesn't look good. Um, I know it's very hard to see, but... Maybe something like this? It's a half dome. Or maybe something like this? Yeah, I think this one, because it's a little bit bigger, and do something like this. Something like this, I don't know, I think the other one might have been exactly the same. But anyways, that's what I'm going to use, and I'm going to kick things off with just the frames, and we'll be right back. Alright, and we are back. And it has been a couple of days between the first part of this video and the second part. And I know I've been saying that a lot. I do apologize for that. But there has been some development. Um, the game updated in between as well. And there's been some like new sounds I can hear. Um, oh, well, you guys probably can't hear it because of the music. But still, uh, there is new sounds I can hear. And there has been some extra things we can quickly take a look at. Um in the assets if it's there or not i don't know but we are here to look at the ship oh okay anyway so this is the ship like the basic layout of it it's not going to be like a big ship or anything it's quite small um but before i continue on the reason why there has been like this delay i think this video will go out on friday it's currently thursday for me so tomorrow ish which will for you guys be uh friday today um and for those who are watching in the future this video has might have been posted on a friday anyways so the reason why i'm struggling or like with the videos and whatnot is um usually i try to aim to get a video out at least by each week every thursday um tuesday and now there has been a bit of an issue um not 
technically or anything, but what happens is, I don't know if you guys know about what is, what's called like writer's block. And um, for me, it's designing block. Like, um, how can I put it? When I design a ship, okay, uh, I start basically with the main frame of it, and then I add the uh, engines and the thrusters and th all the extra bits that needs the ship to get flying, and then the plating afterwards, and then, you know, just bada bing, bada boom, it's, been, it's done. But what happens usually in between is uh, once I start with a project, I would sort of lay down the framework of a ship, but then, like, I, my brain would go blank. Then I would sit here for literally, the game would be open for about an hour or two. And then I would add one small thing. And then I would get uh, another block. I don't know how to explain it really, but like that's the gist of it. And uh, that's kind of also the reasons why sometimes the videos do get spaced out a lot. And um, the parts in between episodes, it might be like three seconds for you guys or a second or whatever. Uh, for me, it would be literally days, hours to days in between. Um, so, yeah, anyways, that is the whole reason. I try to get out a video, one video at least once a week. Um, because I don't want to I don't want to get burned out of the game. Um, I, there's still like two or three ideas I still want to work on. Um, and then there's also, like, there's not, not really a, any other game I want to play at the stage. So I w don't want to, you know tire myself out from this game there's like i still want to do things you know like this game has a lot of potential to it but i don't know um how long it will last unless the developers add like events and things and stuffs to do into the game i know it's just it's still an early access but i mean come on subnautica was in early access for a long time but they kept adding good stuff i don't know um i'm not blaming the, the developers like designing an mmo is a massive undertaking Subnautica was like in a controlled environment, a small area. Whereas this game, oh, like, there's a lot going on. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of space to play with. Anyways, uh, let's get back to the ship. This is why we're here. Um, without further ado, so you guys could probably see the resemblance of the Darth Vader TIE fighter. Like, that's the panels on the sides. And the a bauble kind of head in front of here. And um, it has these slanting wings, like uh, how this one is, uh, this um, beam, this special beam is aiming. I think this is the 30 degree beam, like it's bending 30 degrees downwards um, as it goes down this way. So it's going to be purely cosmetic. This It's not going to serve any purpose. The only purpose uh, the ship, like... In terms of defense or whatnot, offense is going to be basically these laser um, or what do you call uh, laser weapons? Yeah, laser, laser, laser weapons, um, laser cannons. There will be just those two um, to you know, uh, like how is is in Star Wars? Like you have layers, lasers, pew pew, you know, like uh, in Star Wars. Um, that's the only offense, and the defense will basically be these plates. Um, which are going to be attached to these beams and obviously a little bit on the top and at the bottom and vice versa or mirrored on the other side and um, just the cockpit over here and what I was thinking for a door is for this part to open and close open yeah like open and close for just to get to the pilot seat um, and then in the center there will be like obviously the generators and things and fuel tanks and then these keep hearing things it's gonna take some time to get used to those sounds um then there will be these these will be the main thrusters which are gonna sit in here and then in here i was thinking maybe two on this side and two on the other side will be triangle thrusters because they just barely not uh don't touch the these beams whereas these thrusters their size are much bigger the th uh, thrust output the size of the thrust much much wider than what these two beams are um this one and this one so the triangle ones they barely just fit through here um without touching these sides so maybe two triangle thrusters on this side and two on the other side just to give that an extra kick um for in case these uh plates which are going to be chardonium um what do you call it let's quickly just hop out of here um material not material cost 
damn you. Uh, it's gonna be... It shows, yeah. Charodium. Yeah, the, the, the outer plates will be Charodium. Um, but this is just gonna be a novelty ship. It's just gonna be, for, like, for the giggles. Just, you know, not really gonna worry too much about it. I'm um, just gonna design it because why not? And, uh, yeah. Okay, so... The update brought in something that is... Material Crate S. Now that is... Uh, I didn't know S. Maybe small? Might get small, medium, and large. I don't know. Uh, will it be under... Let's see if we search for tow. Towing beam. Under machine... <laughs> machine machine tools uh, get the towing beam towing beam can tow ships and only ships only one ship can tow one additional ship at a time the device consumes electricity in relation to the mass of the ship towing a thousand kilogram mass requires three electricity per second okay so you kind of want a big towing ship well now that gives me an idea for another ship no where's my asset browser where is it uh, no, no. Asperger's there. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Um, so, yeah, that gives me an idea for another towing ship, like a tow truck kind of thing. Tow ship? Yeah. I think that that should be the next thing, uh, next ship we're going to design. There was another ship I wanted to do, but, like, nah. <laughs> I'm not going to worry too much about it now, uh, since we have that towing thing. And uh, what we can do... Yeah, that's, that's for the next time. Yeah, that's, that's for another time. It's not going to be for today. Um, or, yeah. Not gonna worry about it. So yeah, first, um, just wanted to show you guys like this is the the look of it, the main frame as you can probably like uh, call it the main frame of the ship. Um, there is on the back side here on the this also new sounds by the way if you guys haven't heard. That's really cool though. I did like the old sounds like it was very futuristic, but this is this works okay. Um, but what I want to say was the. Um, if you look at the TIE Fighter of, of Darth Vader, the back end of his ship has this curve. It's like it curves a little. Okay, but what I'm going to do is at the back here is I'm going to use these um, angled beams, this long one. Like this. Okay, it's not a big beam, but uh, it's basically going to sit something like over here. So, I think. I will see what I'm going to do. I'm, now I'm just, now that I notice it, it's just going to be straight up, co corner, and then straight this way. It could work some way, but yeah, I will see what, we, what we're what we going to do. First of all, it's just to, just want to get the plates down, or the beams down, and then that's it. So, uh... Yeah, anyways, people, that's it for me. Thanks so much, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.